Hello, Alina from Exomate Mastery here, and today I'd like to talk about what you do or what you can do in Sketch to remove something like a chimney, the square footage of a chimney from the squares of the roof. This has been a couple people actually have asked me this, and I've commented on how to do it or emailed them back, but I haven't really shared the knowledge, so I thought I'd go ahead and just make a quick tip on that today. This is also useful, what I'm going to show you, how we do this, is also useful for removing like a part of a wall maybe where there's paneling on one part and you're going to drywall this area but not going to touch the paneling for whatever reason. You can kind of use this as the same area to deduct drywall from an area of a wall, a floor, if you have, you know, tile area on the floor. Um, maybe you have a staircase going up through the floor. Um, in other words, there's a hole cut where the staircase comes up and ends right here, but you have to remove this part of the floor. We're going to talk about that kind of scenario today in today's Tuesday Tech Tip. So here we are, we're in an estimate, we're in the sketch screen, and I've already sketched part of a floor plan here, and we've got this fireplace and this chimney that I have used what's called a reference block to allow for these two items. We're gonna take a look at that in 3D, and you can see it comes up through the roof like so. Uh, if we go into that room there, you can see it looks like a fireplace that we're going to be excluding the wall behind. And then the chimney also area was a little bit smaller, so I made it actually two different reference blocks here. So you can see, let me do an elevation view as well, just so we can kind of hit this home. Oh, it doesn't show reference blocks in elevation view. That's interesting. Back to 3D, we're gonna take a look. These are two separate reference blocks. This one is five foot tall, and this one starts at five feet from the floor and goes up through the roof in order to create this look that you see here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this pretty quickly. I'm not gonna spend too much time on reference blocks, but basically you set your block and then you can change it in the properties, how tall it is and um, whether the square foot from behind is being removed um, or under if you wanna take out the carpet from underneath. Um, above if you wanted. So you, therefore you can just take a look through all their properties. I won't go too far into it, but that's how we get the reference block to exclude areas. So like the paneling, uh, for instance, if you were just drywalling one area, leaving paneling, you can use a reference. I probably wouldn't use a reference block for that. I'd use an area. It acts similar, but uh, that's for another video. Play around with that, play around with the properties. You'll you'll get a hang of it pretty quickly. Uh, for the chimney, I in the properties, I put the distance from floor five foot above that other fireplace, and then I was able to stack it on top because of this distance from floor property. So I just want to mention that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up all of my windows. I like the shortcut Control Shift R. We'll just bring up all my windows here, so I can take a look at the item list down below and our quantity. That's what I'm interested in today. Whether when we use the chimney properties to remove square footage here, whether it's going to affect the shingles that we are going to add or have I've already added, uh, does it affect that area above? So even though it protrudes through the roof, from my experience, changing the properties of the chimney does not take away the area from the roof. It just affects this room uh, down below. So just to illustrate that, I'm going to go back to my roof here. We've got 11.34 squares on our roof. And if I go back to my main level and go to the chimney, and if I turn on the remove, I'm just going to turn everything to yes, just to see uh, if 11.34 changes. And I don't believe it will. And see how there it did not change, even though I told that block to remove the square footage, linear foot, everything. I turned them all to yes. It still didn't take out that square footage area for that chimney. So this is not a good application if you're going to want that to remove the square footage. What I'd rather you use is what's called a reference area to remove the squares or the square foot on the roof. So I'm actually going to delete my chimney go back over to my roof, 
go to my area, and I think the chimney was two foot six by two foot six, or somewhere thereabouts. We don't have to be completely accurate because it's just a demo estimate, anyways. But you get the idea. We just set a reference area here, and it uh, two foot six by two foot six. We take that area there. And we'd go to its properties and we'd, we'd change the behavior here where it says hole. We're going to say yes, it is a hole going through the roof. That's where the chimney belongs. And there you go. Remove the square foot from the squares. It was 11.34. Now it's 11.28. And just to illustrate that, I'm going to really exaggerate this to show you that the area is indeed cutting a hole through the roof. So this is good for skylights, chimneys, any other weird um, penetration of the roof that you have. You can use this area tool in order to show that there is no shingles at that area. So just to recap, using the reference block and trying to push it up through the roof does not remove the material. You must, in my experience, use the area itself to remove that square foot from the roof. So if you know any different, maybe there's a property I'm just not seeing in this block here that allows for that chimney going through, then I'd love to hear in the comments below. Also, if you've had this instance where you're trying to remove an area of the roof, let me know if this is helpful to you because I like to make sketch topics that are actually useful. So let me know if you've had this instance and whether this, this helps you out there in the field. This area, again, can also be used inside the home for removing areas on the floor or if you go to your number two on your keyboard you can go ahead and draw areas on the elevation view as well so just take a look at that a lot of information here I know but just play around and you know draw a sketch add some areas and, and see how they affect the different materials but this is a lot easier perhaps then having to use the calculator field and trying to calculate out how these uh, square footage is removed. So it's nice to do it here graphically in Sketch and uh, is a lot of fun there. So take a look at that, give it a try. Uh, do remember that in the elevation view though, however, you do not see the block. So see there's, I'm kind of double dutying it here, <laughs> if you will. Um, I've got the fireplace that I can see in 3D and then I've got the area behind, which I could see in 2D, but could not see the block in 2D. So watch out for that. I actually learned something new today. I didn't know that that was a problem there with the blocks in the elevation or 2D view. Um, so take a look at that. It's a lot of fun to play around with. And uh, let me know if this is useful down in the comments. Be sure to share this video too. If it's something that you find that someone else you know needs this info, let the shares fly. Also go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more information like this. I do a lot of sketching, talking about estimating practices here in Xactimate, and we have a lot of fun here on this channel. My name is Alina Wilson with Xactimate Mastery. Hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.